Hi girls, welcome back to my channel. Okay, I have missed you so much. I haven't filmed a video in like a month and I've just, <laughs> there's no excuse for it, but my older daughter was sick. Um, my younger daughter had a birthday. We went camping. So there's just been a lot going on. But the good news in that is that I have a lot to share with you. So I've actually split this video up into two parts. This first video is gonna be all about like clothing and shoes. And the second video is gonna be about the makeup and beauty products, accessories that I've got. So I'm very casual today. I'm just sitting here in my jammies with a cup of coffee. Um, and let's start with this mug. Okay, let's give this mug a moment. Um, I just, bought this when I stopped into anthropology. So many beautiful things that I was lusting after, but I'm waiting for a good sale over at Anthro. And then of course, I will share it with you. I do not gatekeep anything and I share everything with you girls. If I have a code or a discount or anything for anything that I'm showing you, it's gonna be popped in the description box below. So, but look at how cute you can get your initial and all the flowers and the little bee are kind of raised off the glass. I just love this mug. <laughs> pumpkin Spice. So Pumpkin Spice is my new nickname <laughs> because I did a thing. If you haven't noticed, I've gone red. And it's so funny because I never in my life thought I would want to go red, but it is unlocked a whole new personality in me. <laughs> okay, so let's start with these amazing pajamas from Print Fresh. These are the Bagheera in the hot pink, and they have these really pretty like leopards and ferns all over them. They're a really soft cotton, and I like them because they're thin, so they're cotton, but they're lightweight, and I don't get too hot at night when I'm sleeping in them, because it's long sleeve and um, long pants. But look at just the beautiful, they're so bright, they're so just vibrant, and uh, I'm sure they're just gonna get softer the more I wash them. So I love them so much that that day that I got them in and tried them on, I got them in the blue because that's how I am. If I love something, I need it in multiple colors. Um, so I just, I love this blue. I love this fuchsia, very cozy, comfy. I do recommend sizing up because I first got these in a large and they fit, they're fine. I'm just a little nervous about shrinking them because they just fit. And I like to be able to like move around when I'm sleeping and not feel like confined. So I would say definitely size up in these guys. So these I got in the extra large. So the next thing that I got in that I wanted to talk about is a bra. And it's this beautiful um, Honey Love like crossover bra. Um, so it's just got these mesh panels that kind of crisscross in the front and then just like regular smooth fabric strap. You can wear it straight, just like how I am now, or you can unhook the straps in the back and crisscross them. It just gives you a little bit more of like a, a hug, a little bit more like a cleavage look. What I love about this is that it's very lightweight, very breathable. There's like a little mesh panel even down here, you know, where you get like the boob sweat. <laughs> There's a mesh panel there so the air can get in. I am really loving this bra. I'm gonna wear it like every day this week and then just report back in my next week's video about what I thought about it. But um, I also tried these briefs with this like little cross panel here and I just tried them on. They are nice. This is gonna be great for like my long tight dresses, like a skims dress where you can see every like every lump and bump. Um, so they're not like Spanx where they're gonna really suck you in and then you get like that muffin top over the top of them. They're not like that. They're very thin. They just give you a nice, just a nice little, little hug. It just makes you feel like you've got something more than just cotton panties on. Just a little bit comes right up underneath my belly button and it's just gonna help smooth out underneath things. So I'm gonna have to get this in another color. <laughs> so I got in an order from Abercrombie, Express, and Macy's. Let's start with the boots. I had been looking for like a Chelsea style boot, 
Um, and I found these on the Macy's website. These are by Franco Sarto. And I cannot do a faux leather boot. I hate fake leather. So look at this beautiful, like, heel, this shaped heel. It's almost like a knife edge at the back comes to a point at the heel. And just really beautiful done here. Nice pointy toe. And then these mesh panels in the side, which really give it that Chelsea boot look. But it comes up. Um, but these mesh panels on the side help it to be able to stretch and move on your ankle. They're just so comfortable. I've worn them twice now and they didn't even need any breaking in. Just nice and wide. I would say true to size. I do have more of a wider foot, um, but this was perfect for me. So loved these. The next boots that I grabbed um, are these adorable knee-high, kind of like almost cowboy-esque shape to them but a little bit more refined a little bit cleaner of a look but i love the block heel on this it's kind of got like a squared off on the back and then comes to a point at the toe um, look at this beautiful stitching here and these are again real genuine leather these are from nine west this is my first nine west purchase um, so I wasn't sure what to expect. They definitely were um, tight in the calf. So what I did was I did take these to my local shoe repair guy and ask him to stretch them for me because I couldn't even get them zipped and they did not have a wide calf version of these, but I was so in love with them. I was just like, no, I need these exact boots. I just, I think I just loved the stitching and the point of the toe. Um, and just how they weren't like too much of a cowgirl look, but they were still the shape I was looking for. Um, and just this beautiful cognac leather. I mean, super soft. So I'm so glad that I took them to the shoe repair guy and just had them give them a little stretch for me. And now they fit great. Okay, and then the next thing I got with my Macy's order was this dress. It's by On 34th, which I never bought anything from this brand before. Uh, it's this adorable, very ladylike, very work appropriate, but also event appropriate dress in this beautiful satin leopard print. I mean, look at how beautiful this looks with red hair. Um, the model they showed it on was a blonde and she was wearing it with brown boots. So I thought, perfect, this will be great with those brown boots I just ordered. It's got this bow that you can tie up like a pussy bow style, which is how I wore it. So House Beautiful Magazine had a big party in my town and I was invited because I work for one of the vendors. Um, so it was pretty amazing. Um, a lot of design, like famous designers from all over the country came to this event. So I wanted something really smart to wear to this event, um, but that wasn't too like over the top, um, like more work business appropriate because I was gonna be networking, meeting designers, meeting vendors, um, just meeting a bunch of people in the same industry and it was really amazing. Um, I got to meet one of my Instagram heroes, Caitlin Wilson, who is a designer um, that I follow on Instagram. I've been following her for quite a while and she was just the sweetest. And I chatted with her about um, her new book that was just coming out, um, A Return to Pretty, which I have on my Christmas list, but I recommend picking that up if you're into interior design. I was so excited and honored to be invited. And House Beautiful Magazine, you, you sure know how to throw a party. Next up from Macy's is this beautiful structured blazer from DKNY. This one is, is a houndstooth pattern in a black and brown houndstooth on a tan background. And I love the way that the print is small enough to be more subtle. Some houndstooths are really like bold and chunky. I do love that as well. But this is more of a subtle houndstooth and I love the one button look. I love the lapel on it. I'm just so, like my heritage is English. I'm English and Irish and I love a good houndstooth. I'm just a sucker for a houndstooth, especially in fall and winter. And so this was just an immediate add to cart. I would wear this to work with jeans and some cute brown black boots. Maybe my black Chelsea boots with this would be adorable. And then like a white blouse underneath. Or you can make it a full suit look with the matching 
trousers. These um, fit really nicely. I really like the length on them, so they're long enough you could wear them with heels. So I'll show you here both ways that I would wear this. So it's nice because I could wear this all together in a more like formal setting, or I could wear pop this on with just like a like a cute cream turtleneck and some brown heels for work. You know, like you could just sort of mix and match or wear it together, and I love pieces like that. So next up, I got a couple items in from Quince. I finally, girls, snagged these cashmere joggers, okay? I am beyond excited. They have a band at the bottom and a band with a drawstring at the top and pockets, and they are their super soft cashmere, just like a beautiful weight to them. I am so... I might put these on today and just like go the rest of the day in them because it did get cold here in Illinois. So I grabbed these cashmere joggers, which were under $100. I think they were like $90, $99, something like that, to wear with this cashmere v-neck sweater. So it's the matching v-neck sweater to wear with the joggers and there's so many fun ways you could style this for fall winter. Probably gonna pop it on with a pair of sneakers and my Quince leather biker jacket. I think that's like a really cute casual look. There's also a zippered hooded cashmere sweater that was out of stock for the longest time but I think it just came back in the stock and the hooded zippered sweater would be cute with these joggers as well. The next thing I got from Quince was just another of their basic round neck tees. Um, do size up in these because they do tend to shrink. My last one shrunk so I was so sad. So I did just grab another just basic white cotton tee or 100% organic cotton. Um, I just live in these so love those. And then next I wanted to show you what I picked up from Express. I got this really cute like mock neck ribbed three quarter sleeve top to wear with with this houndstooth trouser. This looked really cute under the blazer with that suit but it also looked cute on its own with just the trousers and some boots. It's a bit see-through as you can tell you can see the hanger right through it so you definitely need to wear a nude bra with this but I love that because it's just like a very lightweight layering piece for fall winter so I think this is kind of a wardrobe must-have wardrobe essential. The next thing I got from Express, I'm really excited to wear. I have not worn it yet. It is this very silky satin cami with this beautiful detailing at the neck. It's on the back as well. And it's this, in this really pretty like beige color, this like black and tan look. I'm really excited to wear this with denim um, for date night. We are going out Friday night with some other couples for dinner. So I think I'm probably going to wear this with some jeans. It would also look really cute tucked into a black leather skirt with like a nice blazer or a sweater over it for um, date night or just like a casual weekend look. I love this cami. And then next in from Abercrombie, I finally snagged this really cute long denim skirt with the slit up the front. I wore this to work. I've worn this on the weekends with um, some knee high boots. It's super cute. And in a size 12 or a 31, it is a high rise, which I love. It hits me right at the smallest part of my waist and it's true to size. I felt like it felt, it felt very comfortable all day long and just I just love how this is casual that you could really dress it up and really just style it so many fun ways so I'm excited to have the long denim skirt in my wardrobe for fall winter and then the one thing that my closet was missing which I love the look of a blazer some jeans some Chelsea boots like a leather moto jacket with a cute graphic tee underneath so I grabbed two graphic tees from Abercrombie. These are the skimming tee from a and Essentials. Um, it's a very soft material. It's meant to be kind of like 
it's kind of like a baby tee almost. So I went up a size because I wanted it to fit more like a regular t-shirt. So I did get an extra large and I love this one. It's Claude Monet and his water lilies. I've been to Monet's garden in Giverny and I can recommend for anyone who's never been there, if you're into art or if you are into gardening or gardens, um, Monet's garden in France is a must do opportunity. So I'm so glad to have this t-shirt. It just reminds me of that trip and I love the colors in it as well. Great graphic tee. And then the next one that I got this one is an easy tee, so it's meant to be a little oversized, but I didn't realize that and I grabbed it in an extra large also. So this one's really going to be oversized on me, but that's okay. But I love the graphic on it, New York City. Um, I think this would look really great with a pair of leggings, like boot cut leggings and black Chelsea boots and then my black Quince moto jacket. Great casual look, great weekend look. This, so glad that I finally found some really great graphic tees. So that is it. That's everything I picked up recently. I do have a big Zara order that I ordered like two weeks ago and it's still not here. So when that comes, I will show you that one. And thanks so much for watching this video. I love you guys. And please leave me any comments or questions down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.